Why do you guys think anybody wants to hear about your profit? It was a regular day for this man who goes by Brother Asif, sharing information on Islam on a street corner on White Avenue. That's when video shows a man approaching him before pouring liquid over what is said to be a holy Quran. A lot of people think that, you know, by by discrediting the Quran, by, you know, maligning or burning the copies of the Quran and everything, they are going to achieve something. Basically, the thing is, uh, the Quran is in our hearts. How are you going to extinguish that? Disturbed and shocked. That's how Sayyid Omar felt after watching the video. The, the Quran is, uh, is very holy. So when we see uh, an individual actively desecrate the Quran, it, it, it really, you know, it really hurts. Omar says the man in the video used hateful and derogatory terms towards their face. That's when he poured liquid on the Holy Quran that was on the table. If this happened to me, I would honestly think twice about uh, openly expressing my faith. Just, uh, you know, just because I would be worried that this type of incident would be hap would happen again. But the incident didn't stop Asif from returning to the same street corner the following week. The whole purpose of that person was to, you know, uh, extinguish the light of Allah, to, uh, to not... Uh, let us continue what we are doing and uh, you know he failed uh, basically recent data by statistics canada shows hate crime incidents reported to police as motivated by religion continue to spike across the country in the second year of the pandemic up 67 percent there's clearly a problem and uh, we need to address this. Edmonton Police says their hate crimes unit is in touch with those involved and is investigating the incident that happened here on White Avenue last week. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.